So what up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do subscribe. So first off, obviously, I do apologize for the shakiness of this video. Now, I decided to make this video only because I couldn't find a solution on YouTube. Even after searching, you know, everything on how to, you know, um, keep your PS4 data after a factor reset, I cannot find nothing. And some people, you know, they may know or not know, you know, or how to do this. Me personally, I didn't, so I decided to make a video. Now, my PS4 was stuck on a system update for like three days and nothing worked. I couldn't get out of that. Anyway, so I had a factor reset everything, which deleted all of my saved data, my games, everything. It was like a brand new system, man. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did to get every single thing back man now keep in mind this worked for me and may not work for you obviously you know this video is obviously like a week after the fact of reset thing i didn't think of recording in the moment because like i said i didn't find a solution and i didn't know what the heck was going on man so as you can see i do got some games back but no data i had to reinstall every single game which took a minute man i also play a lot of games and as you can see here when you do sign into your account your trophies and your achievements are still there just not the data man and one game that i was really sad about losing like the data and all of that was obviously the sims for because i do play this game a lot man all my data was gone you know so i'm about to show you guys you know this video is not cap i'm gonna show you guys you know i'm downloading every single you know dlc every single expansion pack back again for the sims 4 man and, you know you can see right here man like this is not it this is like what five or six but after this there's more which i'm about to show you right now man there's so much that i had to you know re-download and reinstall man it's no cap Look at that. It's just, you know, DLCs, expansion packs after another, man. And I was so psyched, you know, when I actually, you know, um, figured out how to do this and got everything back to work, man. So obviously, follow what I'm doing in the video. What you're going to want to do is go to your settings. So after you go to settings, where you want to go to next is a place called Application, Save Data Management. And obviously, some people already know how to do this or know, you know, um, how to get their data back. But, you know, me personally, I didn't. I'm low-key making this video for people that have no clue what they're doing or who are not, you know, tech gurus. So, obviously, after you go there, you go to Save Data and System Storage. So, after you click here, it's going to give you two options. So, obviously, after you click that, it gives you two options here. Option number one, this is all the data you have, you know, saved onto your, you know, on PS4, you know, drive storage. You can either do this or go down below where it says copy the USB, you know, storage, which is you just basically copying all your data onto a USB drive. So if we click here, you can see all of the games that, you know, are already on, you know, our PS4, you know, drive and stuff like that, man. So go ahead and follow every single thing I'm doing in the video. Obviously, I kind of, you know, forgot, you know, where to go or where to click. But obviously, we're going to do this thing together, man. No homo, you know, pause, man. So I do believe it's this one. Hopefully it is, man. Yeah, so here you go. Right here is every single game that you ever downloaded, every single game, you know, that you had saved in your storage in the PS4, basically, man. Obviously, you know, you have, you know, your apps, your games and stuff like that. And, you know, some games may not be here because obviously you guys didn't have, you know, or we didn't have, you know, PlayStation Plus when we were playing those games. Or, you know, they were back, you know, in the old, you know, generation, you know, systems like PS3 and stuff like that, man. So we are going to try to get, you know, um, a couple of games back here. Let's see. We could try Bully. And I'm not, you know, so sure how long this is going to take. So obviously I'm not going to, you know, show you every single game that I'm getting back, man. I'll probably just show you, you know, like one or two games, stuff like that, man. Because obviously just with one simple game that I can, you know, get all the data back, you know, it's going to prove that this thing works, man. And obviously, you know, some of my games are, you know, either, you know, physical copies. I have a whole bunch of physical copied games as well as digital games. And with the physical, you know, disc copies, man, it takes way too long. You know what I mean? You have to, you know, pop the disc in, download every single thing, man. It's a lot of stuff, man. So let's go ahead and, um, what other game could we try? Let's go ahead and try, um, Injustice 2, man. I'll probably, you know, show you that this works and that will probably show you a different game because like I said you know some of my games are physical copies some are you know digital man and it just takes you know more time doing it you know with the actual disc so I'm not so sure I'm going to show you guys you know what Injustice 2 maybe a different game so the last game that I'm going to show you guys is obviously The Sims 4 because like I said I play this game a lot I have a whole bunch of data on this game I have a whole bunch of, you know, um, save data and a whole bunch of, you know, stuff that I've been doing with this game, man. So right here, obviously some games will show you this, some will not, man. Right here is proof. 
It shows you, you know, every single, you know, save file that you have. So there you go. We have data all the way back to 2019 and all the way to 2022. Obviously, it's going to work with some games. Some games, you know, it's not going to tell you that. If, you know, you probably, you know, um, didn't say the game and stuff like that, man. So we're going to go... Let's see, I'm going to show you guys something. Um, and I think I'm going to be showing you guys, you know, The Sims 4 and stuff like that, that it works. The other games, you know, they're still downloading. The Sims 4, you know, is halfway done. So I'll probably just show you with this game. But let's go to, um, where is it? Let's go to, like, downloads. So you guys can see, you know, um, all the um, data that you're getting back. It's obviously back in your system. So there you go. We have Bully right there in the bottom as well as Injustice. I'm not, you know, so sure it's, you know, finished downloading. It's still going. All right, so after like an hour, man, literally, you know, The Sims 4 is kind of done, you know, downloading. So I'm going to show you guys with this game. Okay, there you go. You got, um, what is that? Injustice 2, it just finished, I guess. But I'll just show you guys with The Sims 4, man. I think Bully's not, you know, done yet, man. That's me in a damn, you know, TV reflection, man. All right, so there you go. It works, man. Let's see. Okay, so obviously it's not done downloading every single, you know, DLC and thing, man. We, we still have to wait. Like I said, you know, there's a whole bunch of, you know, <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it's going to take a while, you know what I mean? So literally after two hours, man... No cap. After two hours of me, you know, using that little speed it up flash, you know, animation thing I did right there, man. The game is still incomplete, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's a whole bunch of, you know, files I had on this game since 2019. And obviously, you know, it may not, you know, take that long for you guys, depending on, you know, how long or how, you know, far you want to go back, man. But obviously right here shows you how long I have not played this game, which has been, you know, like five or six months or so, man. So we're going to go ahead and click this right here. What the heck? Alright, so this is just, you know, warning us all of our data and all of the DRCs, you know, are still, you know, um, not finished, basically, man. We still got a long way to go. Like I said, this may, you know, take you days, it may take you hours, you know, all depending on your save data and, you know, your games, man. But yeah, man, basically, you know, that just sums it all up. It shows you that you can get your data back. Hopefully, you guys like the video. If you guys do, leave a thumbs up, man. Comment down below. Also, let me know, you know, if this video helped you guys out, man. Also, if you guys want to see my reaction, you know, to getting my saved data back on The Sims 4, man, make sure to go watch my brand new, you know, series that I created using the high school years, you know, Pac-Man. My series is called Surviving High School. Make sure to check it out. Make sure you guys do subscribe, man, and see you guys in the next one.